guys welcome back so for this look I'm going to be starting off by applying some white face makeup uh, and I'm going to be doing so with a foundation brush to only the half of my face where I'm going to want to place the sugar skull and as you can see I'm not really being very careful with it and I'm also not coming in all the way to the center of my face this is because in the next step we're going to be blending so don't worry about it Now going in with a damp sponge, I'm going to be blending the entire white side of my face. When you get to the center of your face with the sponge, make sure that you become kind of a little bit light-handed almost, so that you get a seamless blend between the white and your natural skin color. Now going in with some face paint, some black face paint and a liner brush, I'm going to start off by drawing a curved line on the, above my brow and then bringing it around toward the hollows of my eye. <laughs> Don't worry about the lines being too perfect on this because we are going to go in later in a later step and add some decorative whatnots to the outside of it. And that's pretty much going to cover any imperfections. Now going in with a slightly bigger brush, I'm going to fill in within the lines. Now I'm simply taking a shadow brush and the darkest eyeshadow that I own in order to set the paint. This is the part where you will go in with the same liner brush and do some detailing around your eye. You can do anything really, I've seen anything from flower petals to leaves. Here I'm doing kind of a combination of both. Um, you can just look up some sugar skulls online in order to get some inspiration uh, you can do without it's totally up to you after I was done with everything I went in I wanted to add a little bit more detail and so I went in with some red face paint and just added some dots and lines in between then I decided that I didn't like my waterline being as natural as it was and so just going in with a black eyeliner in order to fill my waterline completely. Then I went ahead and added some foundation onto the side of my face that I was going to be actually doing my makeup on. Then going in with a damp sponge in order to blend out my foundation like I normally would on a regular day of makeup. I made sure though to stay light on the pressure along the center of my face. And now for my favorite part of the whole look, I am going to go in with some more of the black face paint and the line brush, the liner brush, and starting at the corner of my mouth just drawing a curved line out toward my ear. Once you've drawn your line, you want to make sure that you go back into it in order to thicken it up a bit. Then I'm going to go in with a detailing brush and some more black eyeshadow in order to start shading that area, the entire line. Now I'm going to go in with a clean pencil brush and just start blending it out in order to just create more of a seamless look. Now I'm going back in with the liner brush and some more black face paint in order to draw some vertical lines 
that will become our stitches. Now going back in and just drawing some dots or trying my best to draw some dots on the tops and the bottoms of each line that I've drawn. Now using some more of that black face paint and an angled brush, I am going to start off the nose by drawing a couple of lines. Then I'm going to be thickening those lines, so going back in and just tracing over them, but applying a little bit more pressure onto the brush each time. And then drawing a line down the center of both of those in order to connect them both to one another. Then just making like an upside down heart and just filling it in around my nose. And that is pretty much it for the skull side. Um, you just would, on the other side, just do your makeup as you normally would, which is what I did. I didn't go too dramatic because I didn't want my right side of my face to kind of overpower the left side of my face. I wanted the left side of my face to stand out and be the focal point. So I left the right side of my face, so my natural makeup, or my normal makeup rather, I left it pretty toned down. For my lips on the left side of my face, so the sugar skull side, I left that corner untouched with lipstick. I didn't put anything really on it. The only thing that I'm doing now is I'm going in with that same detailing brush that we used before and adding some black eyeshadow and some a little bit more of that black paint and just kind of shading that area in order for it to kind of blend into my lips. And that will complete the look. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you give it a shot this Halloween season. Don't forget to stay tuned for some more Halloween tutorials to come. And until next time, take care.